We're here at Eagles Canyon Raceway, and we're going all in with the new IS350 F Sport with dynamic handling package. Starting off with the adaptive variable suspension system that opens up different levels of dampening force that allows you to conquer the city streets to the racetrack thanks to the additional drive mode select options that you have, including Sport S, Sport S Plus, and Custom that allows you to adjust electric power steering, powertrain, and that adaptive variable suspension system. And the rear wheel drive couldn't be more fun with the Torsen limited slip rear differential. That's just something that drivers simply love. You're gonna lay down that power with these 19 inch forged matte black staggered with PBS wheels that I just simply love. You're gonna have eight and a half inches wide up front and nine and a half in the rear. To complement that black exterior styling are these black on black side view mirrors, including a lightweight carbon fiber rear spoiler, giving you that extra added downforce that you need at higher speeds. For added convenience for the driver also comes a smart access card key to easily access inside the vehicle anytime to open up right into that beautiful interior. Inside, drivers will grab hold of the heated F-Sport Ashwood trim steering wheel that was crafted by using black Sumi ink applied to an open pore wood, realizing a deep and rich color, complemented by the ash trim on the doors. Now, I cannot wait to get my hands behind the wheel, so I asked for a friend to join me and you're familiar with him from Lexus Racing, Aim Vassar Sullivan, RCF GT3 driver, Townsend Bell. What's up, Chad? How's it going? Glad to have you here. Real good. I mean, great state of Texas and the great state of the all new IS. I can't wait to sample this thing. You got a chance to learn a little bit more about it, but you are dying to get a chance to drive it on the racetrack. So I'm glad you're here at Eagles Canyon. What do you think about going for a drive? Let's do it, man. Brand new racetrack, awesome car. Let's see what it's got. Let's go. Oh man, I love the way this feels. Wow, it's got to be a second faster through that section alone. That felt fantastic. The way this thing just kind of sinks down and settles into the camber of the track, it just gives me a lot of confidence at the limit. And a really fun section here that leads onto this long back straightaway. And now you get a chance for that three and a half liter V6 to really sing. It's familiar, but confidence inspiring. So the engineers use inspiration from the LFA supercar to use hub bolts to attach the wheels to the vehicle that helps reduce down two pounds of extra unsprung weight. The body structure has been reinforced, adding in extra supports and a larger C-pillar. A strong body allows for a stable platform to allow the suspension to do what it needs to do. That contributes to a predictable, confident building drive. The sound of this vehicle is absolutely amazing, and you can hear it even clearer than ever before as the engineers focus in on improving noise vibration and harshness to take out the unwanted noises that interrupt some of that communication as a driver that you're looking for. So why is all this important? Well, Lexus engineers feel that unwanted noises interrupt the overall dialogue between driver and the car. All right, as we start to really hustle the car around here, you can feel already the improvements to the suspension. We're talking about 18% lighter in the front and rear upper control arms. The stabilizer bars, 17% lighter, and the coil springs, a full 20% lighter than the previous edition. All of that weight savings adds up to crisper handling, increased confidence, and faster lap times. So Kobayashi's son set out a mission to have a vehicle that's much more precise, linear steering feel that is definitely noticeable on the track. And I love the braking feel where it has a great rebound back so you can feel confident those brakes are there when you need them. So why is it important to have a linear steering feel, throttle and braking? Well, that's to build confidence in yourself that you can feel not only on the racetrack, but also in your everyday driving. That was amazing. Very impressive. I got to say, Chad, great job on all of the improvements. I mean, you can feel it in so many subtle ways right through the steering wheel. Absolutely. Now, let me ask you this. What are the top three things you think about the new IS? So I'd say first, I love the responsiveness of the front end. The understeer drastically reduced over the previous generation and that wider track, you can just feel everything's crisper and more positive on turn in. Second, I'd say it has way less dive. As I get on the brakes, I don't feel the front end kind of diving down as much. The platform is much more level, much more predictable on corner entry. And then, gosh, third, I just love the wheels. It's a bigger wheel, bigger tire, more rubber on the road means bigger contact patch, more grip, and ultimately better lap times. 
And talking about lap times, we're here at Eagles Canyon Raceway. You're a race car driver, and I know you love to race. So I thought I'd give you a chance to give it a go. All right, let's go. No, 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 it's not gonna be me. I'm gonna call in a pinch hitter. What? What's up, boys? Looked like you guys needed some youth injected into this thing. Oh, please, there's no substitute for experience. We'll see about that. Before we get into a fight, guys, here are the rules. We're gonna do one lap around the track, time attack style, one car at a time. Now, since Jack, you're already ready to race, I'm gonna say you're gonna go first. Let's go. So let's find out who really won that fastest lap around the track. Numbers came in at just one tenth of a second faster, Jack Hawksworth. <laughs> These guys took the IS to the limit and so can you. Visit your local Lexus dealership and experience amazing.